with the US Mind Homeschool Academy. Uh, today's lesson is a composition. We're going to do a composition class. Today's lesson is going to be doing our uh, sentence corrections, checking for grammatical errors such as punctuation, capitalization, um, errors as well. So let's go ahead and open up with the word of prayer and we'll get right into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good work. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. The first sentence says, The Statue of Liberty is a sculpture located on Liberty Island in the New York Harbor. There is quite a few things going on, so let's just get started. What do we need to do about the first word in the sentence? We need to capitalize it. So that needs to be uppercase T. The Statue of Liberty, what is that? Is that an important statue? Yeah, it's a big time monument located there in New York. So we need to capitalize the Statue of Liberty. The word of, we don't need to uh, capitalize it, uh, any prepositions or any what we call insignificant words. But the Statue of Liberty, it needs to be capitalized. It is a sculpture. Do we need to capitalize the word sculpture? No, why not? Because it is a sculpture. That's not a specific name. Statue of Liberty is a name. Statue of Liberty is a very important um, sculpture we have. A sculpture is not a specific name. It's just saying it is a sculpture. So this is name specific. So that's proper noun. This is common. So this is common noun. There are lots and lots of sculptures throughout the country. There's only one Statue of Liberty and it has a name, Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty is a sculpture located on Liberty Island. Is that the name of a special place, a special island? Yeah. It is a specific, I shouldn't say special, it's a specific island. It has a name. That island is called Liberty Island and it's located in New York Harbor. What do we do about this? That's the name of a place. New York Harbor. New needs to be capitalized. The Y in York, the H in Harbor needs to be capitalized. That's a very specific place in New York, and it comes with period. Our second sentence says, was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. an American activist during the civil rights movement? Was he an American activist during the civil rights movement? Well, this is what we call an interrogative statement because it asks a question. Let's begin uh, just finding any errors that need to be corrected. The W and was, what do we need to do with that? We, we uppercase that. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., is that a person's name? Yes, it is. It is a person's name, so the D in doctor needs to be capitalized. The M in Martin needs to be capitalized. The L in Luther, the K in King, and the J in Jr. That's a full name, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. What about the fact that this DR, what do we need to do with this? Do we need to add a period here? We do, because that is what we call an abbreviation. DR is short for doctor, D-O-C-T-O-R. And when you put a doctor, or put an abbreviation, you need, it needs to come with a period. We've talked about this before, words like Mr., Mrs., Doctor, um, Senior, Junior. These are all what we call abbreviations. Abbreviations, and they need to be capitalized. And they need to be capitalized and there needs to be a period there to show that it is an abbreviation. Was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. an American activist? What do we say about American activists? Well, not nothing about activists, but American, that's the name of a people group. If you live in America, you're American. And so because it's name specific, we want to capitalize that. During the civil rights movement, what about this movement? You may not know enough about the civil rights movement to have an educated understanding, but you can know one thing, it is an important event that happened in history. Civil rights movement is a real event that occurred in the 60s. We end this with a period, actually with a question mark, because it's a question, and that's how you would modify that sentence. Okay. Statement three says, the World Health Organization of the United Nations is an agency responsible for international public health. Okay, so let's just get started. What do we need to do about the first word in the sentence? Capitalize it. World Health Organization, is that the name of a big time organization? Yeah, 
It's an international organization, very name specific. So we want to capitalize W, capitalize H, capitalize O. Of the United Nations, is this a group of, a group of nations? United Nations? That is, um, this name represents a collection of nations. Very name specific, we want to capitalize that. United Nations is synonymous with saying the United States, something like that, it's a, it's a group of nations. Okay, it is an agency responsible for international public health. Do we capitalize anything here? We do not, international is a general term, international. Public health is very general. What part of public health, what division, what sector, what, what place? So very general, we just want to end it with a period and we're good to go there. There's the Big Dipper, there's the Big Dipper. Starting with the first word in the sentence, what are we gonna do about this T? Capitalize it. This word is theirs. What do we do? We collapsed two words and made it a conjunction. So what do we have to do? We need to show this by using an apostrophe in front of the S. Big Dipper, what are we gonna do about Big Dipper? Are we gonna capitalize the B and B? Uh, the Big Dipper is the name of a set of stars. You can see a constellation in the sky. Uh, you can see it really well in places like Utah or places where there's a lot of open space, less natural, less, um, less man-made light. So open countries, desert, Grand Canyon, plateaus, you can see things like Big Dippers and uh, Little Dippers. But yeah, so that's the Big Dipper and how are we going to end this? With an exclamation point. If someone sees the Big Dipper, they're like, there's the Big Dipper. Then I like, there's the Big Dipper. <laughs> okay, so I'll leave you with uh, an opportunity to, to digest all of that. Make sure you understand the reason why we capitalize the words that need to be capitalized, why we added punctuation marks where they were placed. Please take out time to complete your composition exercise. It'll be beneficial to you, I'm sure. The question is, or actually it's just a statement. It says, write down all the pieces of furniture made of wood in this picture. Be sure to use complete sentences. So you'll be able to look at a picture and add um, and write down what you see there that's made of wood. Thank you so much for coming to class and being a part of today's lesson. Until tomorrow, God bless. I'll be your hero's body And as you study with heroes born I will be your friend